Hi, my name is Johnny Muller, and this is my plasma membrane concept map. So we start here at the plasma membrane, and then we go up to the sandwich model and the flow mosaic model, because they are two different ideas of how uh, the, pl the, stru of the structure of the plasma membrane. Go back down to the plasma membrane, and then we go up to components, and then phospholipid bilayer. And then um, from there, we can go up to detergent molecules, because those molecules break up the phospholipid bilayer. Um, selective permeability because only certain types of molecules are allowed to pass through the phospholipid bilayer. The hydrophilic head of the lipid of the phospholipid and then there is also the hydrophobic tail of the phospholipid. And then from there we go back down to components and then we go down over to membrane proteins. And then up here we have anchor membrane proteins, receptor membrane proteins, enzyme membrane proteins, and then um, from there, we go, of course, we go back to mem membrane proteins. We, then we have gated ion channel, the ion channel, concentration gradient, which is the way, one of the ways with which um, ions travel into the cell, and then electrochemical gradient. Then we go up, back up to membrane proteins, and then we go down to transport membrane proteins. And then from there, you can go into active transport. <clears throat> And then you, uh, from transport membrane proteins, you can go into channel mediated passive transport. And then from there, you go down into passive transport, and that leads into um, osmosis, simple diffusion, hypertonic solution, hypotonic solution, isotonic solutions, because those are all ways that, um, I guess, that, you know, solutes and molecules um, come into the cell through simple diffusion. And then, let's see, um, and then from membrane proteins, we have peripheral membrane proteins and integral membrane proteins, and that, those are just different. Integral are, are uh, included within the phospholipid bilayer, and then the peripheral are, are connected on the outside. And then we go from membrane proteins to type of attachment, and then we have monolayer associated membrane protein, lipid linked membrane associated protein protein attached membrane associated protein and then we go back to plasma membrane from there we go to types of organic molecules in the cell and then we go to amphipathic molecule which refers to uh, the lipids and anything that has a hydrophobic portion and a hydrophilic portion and then um, we have steroids unsaturated fatty acid saturated fatty acid glycolipid glycoprotein Proteoglycan and the vesicle. And that should be it. Here's a quick overview in case I miss anything. Alright, thank you.